Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to make a simple rasam recipe from South Indian cuisine, raw mango rasam. Now that summer is here, we are having lots of mangoes, both ripe and raw. And I look forward to this season so that we can make many, many recipes and enjoy them. So today we are making raw mango rasam with just few basic ingredients. Though it's a simple one, but it is very delicious, nice and tangy. Try to get those tender mangoes, raw mangoes, so that they are not too sour. Then the rasam comes out very delicious. You don't have to add any sweetener to it. So shall we proceed? Raw mango rasam, a delicious and tangy accompaniment with your South Indian meals. For this we'll require raw mango. I've taken one, but I might be using only half. Tuar dal, I've taken four to five tablespoons, soaked and boiled it. One green chilli and a small piece of ginger. Coriander leaves, two tablespoons. Oil, two tablespoons. And here we have tempering ingredients, asafoetida, two, three pinches, half teaspoon each of cumin and mustard seeds, few curry leaves and one dried red chilli broken into pieces. Homemade rasam powder, one teaspoon. Check out the recipe, how to make it at home. I'm sharing the link with you all. Homemade is always fresh and flavorful. Salt to taste and little turmeric powder, about quarter teaspoon. Ingredients list also can be checked in the description box. Now cut the mango, ginger and green chili into small pieces. I have used only half mango. Put them into the blender jar. Add sufficient water and blend them together. Alternately, you can also boil them before blending. That reduces the cooking time. Now we'll strain it. If you're visiting my channel for the first time, do subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon. Choose all options so that you don't miss out all the notifications whenever I post a new video. Now the straining is done, we'll begin the cooking process. In a pan, heat oil, add the tempering ingredients. Allow them to crackle. Now reduce the flame and stir in the strained mango mixture. Add the boiled tuar dal. Little salt to taste. We can adjust it later also. First add little and, and some turmeric powder for color. Now bring it to a boil. Once it starts boiling, cover the lid partially and allow it to cook for 2 to 3 minutes on low flame. Now add the rasam powder. I am adding about 1 teaspoon. It depends on your taste. You can add more if you like. Check the taste and if the mango is too sour, you can add little jaggery to balance the flavors. Jaggery will reduce the tanginess. This mango I used was not too sour, so I did not add any. Finally, coriander leaves and then simmer it again a little bit to bring out the flavors of the rasam powder. Rasam is ready. It just takes few minutes. Enjoy this delicious tangy rasam. I always look forward to summers. So when these mangoes are available to enjoy all the raw mango dishes. Do check out the other rasam varieties also. I posted quite a few of them. Here is a delicious South Indian meal with mango rasam. Thanks for watching and check out these videos from the archives as well. You might like them too. Bye until next.